Hey everyone, Lucas from Blizzard here, and uh, right now, in order to get started, we're going to have to update our socket. So go ahead and go into at full, and once you see my little socket, go ahead and click on the gear icon. And then here on the bottom of the screen, you're going to navigate over to tools. Go ahead and click that. Scroll down to where you see update. Go ahead and press update. I'm already updated, so I'm going to go ahead and force the uh, app here to update it again. So it is now flashing. And this only takes a few moments. Now we'll click finish update, and you're going to see that your socket is rebooting. So once it's done rebooting, you're going to have to go back into your Wi-Fi and reconnect to it and then go back over to at full. And now go ahead and press reset. This is gonna do a full factory reset on your socket. This way we're starting clean. And you get a little success message, hit continue, and now you'll see your socket is flashing green and we're ready to get started. Now I'm gonna show you something that we have just added into the socket for version 3.0. It is called Easy Connect, and it is going to simplify the process of getting your socket on to your wireless network. It will now boot up in flashing green instead of flashing blue. This indicates that it's ready to connect in Easy Connect mode. So to connect in Easy Connect mode, all you need to do is open your app, and we're gonna click Configure. And then on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, we're gonna add the plus button to add a device and now it's asking us what device we want to configure and we're going to click on socket now we're going to name our device and i'm going to call this our demo socket now you'll notice here that it says wi-fi ssid ls net and that's the name of the wi-fi network that i'm going to connect our socket to so when it's asking here for network password, I'm going to type in the password that I would use to connect to LSNet. Now at the bottom of the screen, it asks for a number of devices. You would change this number if you were adding multiple sockets at once, but we are only doing one. So now we can go ahead and hit connect. You will see this dialog saying looking for sockets nearby. And now it shows solid green on my socket so we can actually go back over to at full devices and we'll see that we are now connected to our demo socket and that's all there is to getting your socket set up to your network with easy connect